on, let me let me get it together because I got something to say. My channel if you read the title then you already know that today's video is going to be yet another story time so grab y'all popcorn y'all drinks all of it that y'all need cop a squad because i got a story to tell okay because my name not my name my name not about to be dragged my name is not about to be dragged before we get into this video though make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified whenever you upload a video and yeah let's get right into the video okay y'all so this literally happened like two weeks ago a week and a half ago or something like that um i'm gonna leave everything up here on the screen like screenshots and stuff like that and everything so that y'all can see you know what happened so this particular person we're not gonna mm, what we gonna call her mm. No, we're not gonna call her anything. We're not even gonna name any names. But if y'all put two and two together, then that should be it. But yeah, so this particular person, she booked an appointment with me for January the 6th at 6 p.m. So that was cool, that was good. You know, she booked her appointment and she sent her deposit. So she wanted like, I'm gonna put the set that she wanted up here in the corner. She wanted like this marble set, but I think like she wanted it like all marble. You're gonna, you gonna, y'all gonna see. So um, that was that. So the day comes for her appointment and um, she's, um, I sent her a message and I say, good afternoon, just confirming that you are still coming to your appointment today. And she replied and she was like, um, she was like, yes, do you prefer the remaining balance by cash app or cash? And um, let me tell y'all, as soon as she sent that message and I got the notification, I got a phone call about my son. Now y'all know about my kids, like I'm out the door, like everything stops, I don't care what I'm doing, I'm dropping everything and I'm, and I'm, I'm out the door like so as I'm sending her this message y'all like I'm literally grabbing my purse and and jetting out the door so I was like hey lovely I am at the shop right now but I just received the phone call and I have to leave and take care of something important I am going to refund you your deposit I truly apologize but this is very important sorry for any inconveniences may cause she said okay love thank you and I said of course and your refund has been sent thank you for understanding so that was that you know i'm thinking i'm thinking everything cool but in her video she was basically trying to basically bash me like the first half of her video was about me and then the second half was about like you know like an asian nail shop or whatever because i guess she had ended up having to go to um you know a regular you know a regular smegular nail shop But anyways, yeah, she was basically like calling me stupid and saying this and that. And oh, okay, so the stupid part comes in. Let me tell y'all. Okay, so the stupid part comes in where um, she goes and asks me, um, do I do toes? And um, I let her know. I said, yes, I only paint feet. I don't do any um, full pedicures. And she said, okay, I didn't see that on your booking link. And I would like acrylic on the big toe and how much? So, um my like me doing painting toes is not really my my i really don't like doing it like because i really don't like feet but i will if i have to but anyways so i didn't i don't put that on my booking site so yeah so i don't know what happened but i ended up having i ended up like not replying to her like right back or whatever so she sent me another message and said hello may you please let me know so i'll know if I have to book another appointment and I said I apologize for the late reply but no I do not do toes and um and then she said thank you so in her video she was she was saying like oh how stupid can you be and, oh um how you say you gonna do toes but then early in the message I mean how you say you don't do toes but early in the messages you said that you do toes so let me just clear this up so what I was saying was earlier in the message and I'm gonna put it back up here she said um, she would like acrylic on the big toe so in my head you know I'm I'm thinking like um, that she's still talking about the acrylic toe which I now offer like I literally just started offering it like a couple of days ago but um because like a lot of people be asking me so I just was like okay why not but anyways she said that she was like um how are you gonna say you know you don't do toes now but you said that earlier in the messages 
So, yeah, so I was just basically thinking she was still talking about the um the acrylic toe. No, I, I don't do those. Like, I wasn't doing those at the time. So at the end of like our messaging thread, like after I had to um to cancel her appointment for the day, um, I was like, one more thing, if you would like to reschedule, feel free to do so. I do have openings tomorrow or this weekend. So not knowing why she, I had no idea why she was getting her nails done. I just thought she was just getting her nails done just to get her nails done, like any other female does. So, um, so she, in her video, she was just like, why, why would I get my nails? Why would I want to reschedule with you tomorrow? And, um, and my trip is tomorrow. Like she was saying that, like, I knew that she had a trip. Like, sis, I didn't, I don't even know you. Like, I didn't know that you had a trip the next day. So, um, after, after she um, read that message that I told her, you know, she can rebook tomorrow or whatever, which I thought was a great, a sense of, I thought it was like, you know, the most professional thing that I could do at the time. And I also refunded her deposit. Like I also refunded her deposit. Any other nail tech or hairstylist or anything, they, Okay, y'all, so pause. There was a comment that she replied to from one of her subscribers, and I'm going to put it on the screen right here. Um, and she said that she hates as the consumer. Um, if she would have did what I, I did, then she would have been out of a deposit. But, sweetie, I never, not one time in my policy said that I was doing non-refundable deposits. Girl, your deposit is gone whether it's on your end or her end. Like, I'm not like that because I understand that stuff really does happen, like, in life. So, um... Anyway, so in her video, she was like, um, she was like, um, she told me that I can rebook tomorrow, um, but my trip is tomorrow. Like, sis, like, my trip is tomorrow. How can I, how can I rebook tomorrow? Like, I didn't know that. Like, how, how, how am I supposed to know that? Like, I'm not a mind reader. So, um, she was like, um, she was like, she didn't tell the part where she was like, I'm going out of town tomorrow, but I'll definitely book in the future. She said it. I'm going to put it up here. She said, I will definitely book with you in the future. But in her video, she didn't show that part. So if you're going to show, if you're going to tell a story, you have to tell the whole story. Like, tell them how you said that you will definitely book with me in the future. Like... Tell those story. So, you know, I'm scrolling down underneath the video and I'm just reading the comments. Y'all know I had to read the comments. So, it's just like a whole bunch of like different little comments. I'm putting screenshots up there. Like, some people are saying like, oh, I would have been so pissed. Like, I hate when people cancel last meeting. I would have been so pissed and I would have went off on her. Sis, no, you wouldn't have. You wouldn't have went off on nothing. So, just stop like, oh, like, I hate an internet gangster. Like, girl, no, no. But, yeah. So, it was just a whole bunch of um, comments and saying like, I hate black, I hate, that's why I hate shopping black business, you know, I hate, you know, supporting black business because it's always something. We are people too, like, that's what people fail to understand, like, if, you, if people are not running a business or nothing like that, like, they don't understand, like, we are people too, stuff happens, like, I would never cancel a client for nothing, like, I would never, ever, ever ever do that like that's no i'm not i'm not gonna do that if i don't have to cancel you i'm not gonna cancel you like but it was literally an emergency but people don't never take that into consideration like i'm not a robot like i i am an actual person like I, i'm a i'm an actual person like <sighs> as i'm scrolling you know through the comments underneath the video y'all know like my first initial thought was to just like girl make a comment so y'all know i made a comment underneath the video and the comment y'all was like this freaking long y'all but yeah, so I made the comment and I left the comment up for like 10, 15 minutes. And then I, I was thinking like, no, I'm not finna do this or whatever. So I had went ahead and deleted the comment. So I went on Instagram and I tried to um, search her page again. And guess what? Guess what? I'm blocked. <laughs> I guess this had blocked me or whatever, but I mean, it's okay. Like, what did I do to you? Like. Yeah, so that was that and that happened and I just really had to come on here and clear my name, clear the air. And yeah, we're back to business as usual. If you are ever in the Orlando area and you need a nail tech, come holla at you. Girl, I got you. Slate all day. All my information will be down below in the description box. With that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my social medias and I will see y'all in the next video.